But we do have then Arabia for the last game. So let's see, where is my scoreboard? Right there we have Celts versus Vikings. Interesting matchup. So I will speed up all the way and wait for any action to come in. In the meantime, let's take a quick look at the maps we have here in the red. Derpina playing as the Celts. Um, what about his map? Let's see. Um, he has a fairly decent wood line in the back here. Could take this one, it's on the hill. <laughs> yeah, you got me there, Ducky. Anyway, um, wood line on the hill. It's pretty decent. Two boar in the back, also really nice. And then there is these berries in the back, gold in the back. Does he have any resource forwards? Well, this stone and his second gold. Nah, it's yeah, it's kind of kind of on the size there. Other than that, his map would be if this would have been Sai, it would have been Walt already. Look at this, Palisade, Palisade, and only this this side would be the only one that's open. But other than that, this is very easily wallable as well. But as far as I know, Derpina is not much of a waller. So going over to the other side, um, we have Dutch Glass. Dutch Glass's map. Um, don't distract me now, Ducky. Come on. <laughs> no, that's all right. I'll just try to ignore it. Um, he has a pretty nice wood line here. Good, good lumber camp right there. And Barry's in the back for him as well. Stone and gold in the back. Pretty, pretty good. His main gold is forwards, but he could also he could always go go back to, to the gold right here. <laughs> yeah, I would have um yeah, yeah, I would have done the same. Team events, yeah. Anyway, pretty good map, I would say. Pretty decent map. No, that's just... <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to ignore you because I want to cast the games. I'm sorry. Sell all the gold. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would do. <laughs> Most posting newcomer. Yeah, that's for you. Okay, so I'm just I'm just waiting for a little bit until the action is coming in. I would have hoped that since Dutch Gla or I'm sorry, uh, Derpina here is Celts, he would have gone with a Drush, but oh, oh, look at this. It's a bit late for a Barracks to go up, so I don't think he's gonna go with a Drush anymore. He might go with a Man-at-Arms. Thanks, Wikia, for the follow. Oh, welcome, man. Um, but yeah, even for Man-at-Arms, I think this is a bit late, but who knows. Oh, there you go. He's doing militia after all. So nice, nice choice there. I like it. I like the man at arms strategy a lot. The only thing is that I know don't know any build orders, so usually when I try it, I Titanic pretty much. Whatever the case, we have Dutch class now up to feudal H as well. He has twenty three villagers, so I suppose he is going with archers. Yes, uh, or well, the barracks is going down already. That is a bit late. And he's only just taking his gold and it is forward, so... Uh, yeah, he's, he's up a little bit late to Feudal Age, because now the Militia are coming in. His barracks is up though, uh, but Derpina now coming in with the uh, the tower. So Dutch class will be ignored or denied here from the gold. And the men at arms are up. There you go. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, Ducky, come on, please. I, I, I wanted, eh, eh, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't doing it on purpose. But you were, like, eh, eh. That, this is why I, 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 I would usually love to, or I mean, that's why I don't, don't really like live casting so much. I, I love to give you guys attention. Ducky, you know this as well, but when I'm casting, I, I really like to focus on, on on the games, getting some good quality content here, uh, or at least try to do that. Uh, Dutch class already saying GG, and this is what I mean. I haven't even talked about the game for one second. <laughs>
Oh, okay, but still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, GG. GG indeed. Okay, so we have some more games coming up. 